Those of you customers and members of Crossworld who have joined us in the store, may we request you and invite you to kindly take your places at the seats. And uh, it's time now to look forward to a very enlightening discussion on the title, The Mad Tibetan Stories from Then and Now, alongside with the author already at the table, <coughs> along with our very special guest. So good evening and a warm welcome to Crossword. To one and all, Crossword aims to be a point of social and cultural interaction, a place where authors and poet hold court, children are regaled, and people just like all of us gravitate to be informed, entertained, and also enlightened. After those of you who have spent your valuable evening with us, just anxiously looking forward to it all, I'd like to seize the privilege to present to you the author herself. Welcome to Crossword Dipti, and may I request you a little, put your hands together, let's receive her Thank very you. warmly. Nice. Thank you. Also at the table, giving her valuable time, celebrated evergreen actress needing no introduction to film and theater. Let's receive Shabana Azmi. Thank you so much for your valuable time and gracing the occasion. To get everything rolling, firstly, I'd like to take the opportunity at the very onset to, uh, to share a few words about the author. Dipti Nawal is critically acclaimed for her skills as an actor, but beyond that, she also goes as a painter, director, and poet, born in northern India. After her schooling, she migrated to the United States, where she studied at the City University of New York and received her bachelor's degree in fine arts at the Hunters College in Manhattan. She has acted in over 60 films, and most of you would know each title, so I wouldn't go into the details. But on that note, I said thank you very much for joining us here at Crossword. And uh, we'll be taking it through in a conversation alongside with our very special guest to be holding everything that your heart would like to know. But I'd like to also share with you a few words about the book, The Mad Tibetan Stories from Then and Now. It's through the prism of life that emerges the mad Tibetan stories from then and now, while Thali draws you deep into the sordid and bleak life of a prostitute in Kamatipura in Mumbai, the piano tuner... Thuli, that's Thuli. Thuli. Thank you. The piano tuner gently tugs at your heart from music from the piano that Firoz Bartley Boy once played. Ruth Mayberry inspires with her never-say-die spirit, your grapples with loneliness. D, the morning after, Bombay Central, the Mad Tibetan, Premonition, Sisters, Births, these are all facets of life itself. Each speaks in a voice that is resonant of hope, love, and joy of another day. I'm going to pause now, and I'm going to hand it over to our own special guest to take you through. But firstly, I'm going to request jointly together, if Shabana and uh, Dipti, you could unwrap a copy for us, and let's celebrate the book. Congratulations to the team from all of us out here at Crossword. And now, without much ado, I'm going to hand it over to the author to share a few words. And uh, let's lead us into conversation with our guest. Thank you all for coming. Um, you know, I've, I've always felt that what will I say? I mean, I've tried to write. So if I could speak well, I may not have needed to write. But uh, eventually, a uh, mic is pushed in front of you and you're, you have to say something about your work. That's what I'm told. Now let me start with uh, what these stories mean to me, really. Uh, I have been writing from a very long time, uh, basically poetry. And then there were these little files along the way which were you know, occupying my computer. 
and I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them. They were just like jottings and uh, some diary pieces and some impressions and stuff. So when uh, Sanjana um, of Amaryllis, when she came up with the idea, let's do a book, uh, we started pulling out all these jottings and we started seeing okay, how much material do we have. Um, those, some of the stories go back to uh, even the early 80s, but the major work has been done in the last uh, one and a half to two years, I think one and a half years, seriously. So what you see in the book is uh, my uh, writing, writing uh, wise, it is a uh, recent work of mine. Shavana, I will let you lead now. Uh, sure. In fact, uh, when Amaryllis got in touch uh, with me, they wanted uh, this event to happen yesterday. And I wasn't going to be in uh, town, but I said I suggested that if we can do it on the first, then I, I would be able to. And I'm really delighted because in spite of the fact that we've been colleagues and friends for so long, it's very rarely that we get an opportunity to actually have a conversation particularly about work because we're always meeting at party scenes and we're at a festival and we're discussing other things than work and I thought this would be um, a really nice opportunity to try and uh, understand where you're coming from and where these stories are coming from. So let me begin by saying that I was really, really struck by these uh, stories. I haven't read the entire book but I read a substantial number of stories and I kept reading it through the night and at one point I think I sent Deepthi a message at 4 a.m. or something saying, is this based on fact? Because it was so real and I felt that uh, this experience was so vividly uh, described. It's called The Birds. Birds, yes. And uh, then I got a very cryptic yes from her. <laughs> so I said, this author ain't revealing nothing. I better read some more. And then I read some more and I read some more and I was completely, completely fascinated uh, by them. So let me begin by asking what gives you the courage? What gives you the courage to be who you are? Which is so many different things. Because we've all, um, you know, we, we, we all have had education where we have been told that you have to be not jack of all trades, you have to be master of one. And that there's always a danger that if you've got lots of interests, as actors tend to have. I yes. feel that actors are interested in uh, many things. Many, many things. Many, many yeah, things. Yeah. But uh, at one point, one needs to have a focus and say, all right, this is what we, are, what we will concentrate on. But when I look at your career, I've seen that you've done things together and simultaneously right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. There is a restless wanderer in you. And you never seem to have suppressed that uh, uh, wanderer and haven't really focused on only one thing, which I think is an act of great courage. Uh, to be able to give in to something that one deeply desires rather than have a set goal about this is what I need to do. So where do you find that from? You know, Shivana, early uh, years, I remember, this reminds me of, uh, of this one incident where I'm sitting with Mahesh, Mahesh Bhatt in his place and it's some evening is happening and, and he's telling me, um, don't, uh, I, I think I was right, talking about poetry. He says, don't paint, don't write, just be an actress. And that way you'll be able to, you know, put everything into that one, 